Certainly temperatures for this week are nothing like they were five years ago. Main 15's Marcus Truscio takes a look back at a record-setting cold blast. Marcus, what you got? Yeah, Nathan, this week back in 2019 was downright bitterly cold in northeastern Indiana and northwest Ohio. I spoke with the National Weather Service of northern Indiana to see what allowed it to get so cold here five years ago. If you thought it was cold two weeks ago, well, remember back five years ago when it was really cold. That's senior forecaster Todd Holston with the National Weather Service of Northern Indiana on just how cold it was starting on this day back in 2019. Look at this. It is rock solid and... On the morning of January 30th, 2019, Fort Wayne recorded a low of 13 below zero and a high of just zero. Both of those temps setting records for that date. Fort Wayne's lowest wind chill that day, 40 below zero. Holston explains how temperatures were able to get so low. There was a lot more snow cover up across the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and southern Canada. So as that cold air came down um, in that part of intrusion, it didn't modify hardly at all, which is why we saw such a record cold. Huntington recorded a low temperature of 22 below zero during this Arctic blast, and a wind chill of 52 below zero was recorded in Kosciuszko County. That's about as bad as it ever gets around here, to tell you the truth, as far as wind chill goes. In comparison, during this last cold blast just a few weeks ago, the lowest temperature was negative six, and the lowest high temperature was seven above zero. That was nothing compared to what we had in 2019. This 2019 cold blast brought temperatures as low as 56 below zero to Minnesota before factoring in the wind chill. Holson explains why it's so difficult to get temperatures that low in and around Fort Wayne. The Great Lakes, like Michigan, has, has a really good buffering effect on these cold air masses as they come down. The lake tends to, to take the, the edge off of that Arctic chill and modify that air mass even further. But that wasn't the case in 2019. Ice coverage actually on Lake Michigan was quite high there by the end of January. Holston wants to remind you that even though temperatures are forecasted to be in the 30s and 40s in the near term, there's a lot of winter left for potential cold snaps. Hopefully, if there is more Arctic air to come, it's not as bad as five years ago this week. Marcus Truscio, Wayne 15 News.